Hello, welcome to round one. We're on the play, and... Oh, yeah. We got a hand. We got a hand. Turn two Adanto Vanguard is, like, one of the strongest plays in the game, I think. Or in this format. It's a two commander creature, hits for three, indestructible, and we're pairing that with a hammer skull. If we can draw something else to top our curve off, like that. Our poor opponent will be in for some serious trouble. Sure. And I'll gladly trade four life to kill that. And we can hammer skull it up. And if we don't draw any lands the rest of the game, we're doing very well. That's five damage next turn. Well, if their plays are just equip, ooh, -hoo -hoo. I hope next turn they play some dirtily creature with four power. To be fair, I can't block it. <laughs> okay, let's stop drawing lands. Um, play land pre-combat. Yeah, no blocks for you, son. Okay, so tap out for like a... Legion of Dusk. The 5 mana 4-4. Four, four. Then I can Legion's Judgment it. Or even Vona. You can play Vona here, right? Or the uh, Death Touch Menace Drains Life guy. This person might have been in my draft pod, actually. Just don't play a kill spell. Hostage taker? What? And you can cast it? Jeez. That is a play. Oh. Huh. Interesting. That opens you up for removal though. I don't know if I like that play. You, you could have just stolen the vanguard and cast it right away. But I guess it's just a 1-1 one, one on defense for you. But then you double block... Well, I don't know, because this way you're taking 3 damage this turn. But then next turn you have two two threes on defense, so maybe that's okay. Either way, we're drawing a lot of cards right now. Three. Yeah. Boom! <laughs> Oh, 
hostage taker, eh? Card's pretty good against me. I think we need to probably set up for a rallying roar blowout turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's some card advantage. Skyblade plus... Yes, yeah, Skyblade plus Prying Blade is actually a pretty sweet combo. Non-land. Rigging Runner is pretty nice too. I guess it's just a 2-2, two -two, but... We can attack with our vanguard. And if we're doing that, we might as well trade the Conquistador for... I guess they'll block with Hostage Taker. No, I think I can set up a turn where Slash of Talents plus Rigging Runner is a big deal. Um, yeah, that seems better. So they take three. We play you. Play you. No, play land. And we can just completely swarm the board here. Yep. Okay, that one we can kill. That's a good draw. It's a very good draw. So we kill you. Now we can slash of talons whatever blocks rigging runner and vampire zeal whatever else gets blocked. Or that. Um, I'd much rather have this guy be dead. And we're gonna do this in damage step. So I know they've taken the damage. Wait, God, they, I could have just killed them. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell them that. I. Wow. I got so caught up in the value that I forgot I just completely missed lethal. I don't think it matters, but that, that was a big misplay. Um, yeah, if they had a bounce or kill spell though, that would have gone really poorly for me. But still, that was... 
Yeah, because I could have just uh, made him indestructible. I could have pumped him. Or her. I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. I really hope that doesn't matter. That feels really bad. What do you got? I lose four. Wow. Am I gonna lose this? Well, they can't attack. Yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story, don't miss lethal here. I hope my opponent attacks. Um... I don't think it's worth going to five. I think the only way they win is they play some weird pump spell here. So I'm just gonna play a lot of guys and swing out next turn. Um, cause I attack with the Danto Vanguard. They block with Bishop. Then Anointed Deacon pumps Skyblade to be a four power. And I would go to one. So if they had any pump spell, I would just be dead. And this way they need two removal spells. Is that better? There are very few pump spells. Skullduggery would kill me. Yeah, I think it's worth waiting. God, I could have just killed them outright. That was so brutal. Always look for lethal. I get too caught up in value a lot. It didn't matter this game, but it should have. Um, Royal Nest Robber. Nest Robber is really bad against their 1-3. I think I'm going to run it back, though. This hand's great. Legion Contistador. I hope they play... I was gonna say a one drop so I can slash of talons. It's not the one drop I wanted to see. Please don't play the one three. That card's so good against me. Don't do it. Okay. Ooh, that's a good card. Here we play a Cobbled Wings. Makes the Legion Conquistadors into a bunch of Wind Drakes, which is awesome. No play. Alright. Here's what my opponent has here. But we're, we're getting some vampires. Use ability, yep. I'm just gonna get two. I don't want to discard. And I can just get the next one when I play the next Conquistador. for two, play a Conquistador, play a Rigging Runner. Oh, right, I have all these stops. No, 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 no! God! Why did... That actually makes no sense. I don't 
think clicking off the stop should pass priority on that stop. God, that's horrible. Because I didn't, I never passed, clicked pass priority. And it just skipped through all of those because I unclicked from them. That seems like poor design though. All right, well, I guess we don't need this land. Didn't even play a land that, that was the worst possible turn. My opponent got very lucky. God, that was so bad. I may, like, maybe that's a mistake on my part, but I didn't think if you just unclicked it, it would also pass your priority that you had that turn at that point. I don't know, that seems really dumb to me. I mean, we're still in pretty good position, but we should be hitting for six. We should have another land in play. I should be able to vampire zeal this. We should have a lot of things going on. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, we'll do that now. Again, we're still in very good shape, but we gave our opponent a running shot at it for no reason. We have all action in hand in an endless stream of flyers. Sure. So we can vampire zeal this guy down. Yep. We'd be nice to draw a land here. Okay. Pump our guy with first strike. I'm not passing through priority. So now we can go Raptor Companion Rigging Runner. Okay, okay. This is how we should have been last turn. So we like effectively let our opponent cast Time Walk. You can hostage taker us. Oh, sure. Not so worried about that card. <clears throat> so we can equip Cobbled Wings to the Raptor Companion. Then we can Slash of Talons plus Bishop Soldier. gonna do this after and at damage or end of combat I want to be very careful with my triggers because it's very counterintuitive first strike happened and I'm doing it after combat or after damage is dealt because if I slash up talons and they have a slash of talons of their own it's really bad for me we're just gonna pass through these priorities here combat damage and combat Okay, we have a main face. <laughs> now we get rid of those things after we pass through them. Because that's how you have to do it for whatever reason.
Sure, we lose one. <laughs> it's like the perfect draw. I don't mind throwing away a guy. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Play you. Play you. Unless my opponent's somehow like double splashing a star of extinction, we should be okay. Sure. Wait, what? Why? I, I guess they're playing the Dead Eye Plunder as well. So they can cast. Nothing. Okay, well, we <laughs> gave them a. Sorry about that uh, weird technical misplay. We gave them a time walk, but we still were crushing. Uh, See so you guys, round two.